YouTube. It's me, Sherry Berry, and today we're doing a story time. So I feel like it's the perfect time because my behind is con deep conditioning my hair. So if you wonder why she got this big old, you know, sleeping cap, it's not a sleeping cap though. It's a hot head cap that basically um, deep conditions your hair. Okay, on my head, I got a, a hot head on my head. Okay, so anyway, I feel like this today is the perfect time to do a story time, you guys. So today I'm going to talk about how I almost got kidnapped in Vegas, okay? Since I got time on my hands. So basically I had planned a trip for my mom and I to go to Vegas for her birthday. That's probably was like maybe, it's been a while, maybe like three, four years ago, maybe two years ago, I don't know. But anyway, I planned a trip for me and her to go to Vegas, okay? And so basically, we, you know, we went up there, we took the Greyhound. I don't even know if I should tell y'all about that experience. It's like a whole all I got to say is, if you guys are going to take a Greyhound, prepare to be sitting on your ass for a long time and doing a lot of stops, okay? That's the con. The pro, okay, you get to meet cool people around you that's also traveling the country and going different places, and, you know, you get nice views to see, and you don't have to drive. That's the, that's the pro, okay? So, yeah, if you want to do that, that's the pro and the con for y'all right now, so next time i'm probably gonna take the plane but anyway we got to vegas you know and um we went to this place called madame tucson it's a wax museum i'm pretty sure you guys know it's like one in uh la one in vegas and probably other places that i probably don't know about in las vegas and um basically me and my mom we were going around taking pictures of wax figures i probably showed pictures of me and her taking pictures of wax figures and um basically this man comes up to me okay he's like hey um can you take up my picture or whatever can you take a picture with me i think it was britney spears he was trying to take a picture with so i was like yeah sure i'll take a picture with you and britney spears so you know i took him a picture and then right after he was like oh do you guys want me to take a picture of y'all and i was like okay yeah sure okay and, you know i'm a very friendly person so like hey if people talk to me i'll talk to them you know I'll talk to them. I'm not going to be rude, you know. Want me to take a picture? I'll take a picture. Shoot, everybody do that nowadays. But anyway, yeah, I took his picture, and then he offered to take ours. So, we, you know, we took our picture or whatever. And, you know, I told him, thank you. And so then um, <clears throat> we're going around, you know. We're going around. We're taking pictures. And I swear to God, you guys, this guy, I noticed him following us. I was, I was like, maybe, <laughs> I was like, you know what? We're going out the exit. So, you may, maybe he's going the same route we trying to get out. Okay, so I didn't pay no mind. I was like, hey, maybe he's trying to get the get out the same way we're trying to get out. So anyway, you know, we're going around. We're taking pictures. We're done, basically. Okay, we're done. We're going up the elevator. I think it was like, I think we were like by Caesar Palace. And they had like a little mall upstairs. And, um, you know, we're on the elevator, okay? Or escalator, sorry. Getting them shits confused. So yeah, we're on the escalator. <laughs> And um, me and mom's going up the escalator and, you know, I just, by coincidence, look behind me. The guy is right behind me, you guys. I'm like, what the fudge? So I'm like a little suspicious. Like, okay, maybe he's going to the mall too, okay? I'm like, maybe he's going to the mall too. So I just like, whatever. So anyway, we get off the escalator. We go to the side. There's like a nice little view. I'll take a pic. I'll show you my pictures I took there. We're looking at this view and we're taking pictures by it. And I swear, you guys, this guy is on the left of us. And he's taking pictures, too. And I'm just like, that's kind of fishy. You guys. Why is he following me everywhere? That's what I'm saying in my head. Why is he following me everywhere? So anyway, you know, we take our pictures, we leave. We go in the mall, okay? We go in the mall. We go to this, like, I think it was like a art exhibit where they had like different paintings and stuff hanged up on the wall so we're in there and we were looking around we we're taking pictures and who do i see you guys the same man behind us again again so i'm like uh-uh hell no i was like mama this guy is following us this guy is following us i mean it's one to see him on the damn escalator Two, to see him, you know, while we taking picture, and three, to see him at the same area we at. Okay, I'm not, I'm not shitting you guys. I'm for real. So anyway, I tell her that. Okay, she's like, okay, let's quickly dash into the store real quick, and we dash into the store, 
and and we know we're on the corner and we're looking at him and he's like looking around looking around like he's like trying to look for us and i'm just like oh my god that guy was trying to follow us like for real he was probably gonna, gonna do some shit like you know you just never know these days like you cannot um let your guard down too much you know you just can't so yeah the guy is basically looking around like he's trying to look for me and her and i'm just like and so he couldn't find us, so basically he walked off, and that was it. And so I was, like, creeped out, you guys. I was so creeped out because, you know, it's like, what if I was by myself? I probably would have got kidnapped. Shit. <laughs> I probably would have got kidnapped, you guys. But all I'm saying is, you guys, when you guys go on a vacation somewhere and your woman or, you know, two girls hanging out, you know, in a place that you never really, you know, visit too often. Always be aware of your surroundings because you just never know who's following and who's out to get you. You just never know. And I feel like girls are really vulnerable. So, like, you know, always keep, keep be alert, basically. Be alert. Travel in groups. Because if you're in a group, at least you guys can, like, fight him off. When you're by yourself, it's a little complicated, kind of hard. So, lesson of the day today is... Be aware of your surroundings because you just never know. You just never know what's going to happen. You never know who's going to pop up, who's going to get you. So just always be aware. If you see, like, something's fishy, you know, don't ignore them signs because you never know. Maybe that person's out to get you. So that's the end of my story, I think. Basically, be aware of your surroundings when you're in Vegas. And... Yeah. Call police. <laughs> if you feel like that guy is like a stalker, really creepy, like maybe call the police if you buy yourself. But like I said, try to travel in packs, you guys. You know, and just be safe out there. We can't travel right now anyway, but I just was like, you know, I'll tell you the story where I almost got kidnapped by this creeper. And he seemed like a nice dude, you know. This guy seemed like a legit nice dude, you know. He had like a little accent. Okay, he had a little accent. And I was like, okay, he got a little accent. Okay, he's not from here, really. I think he's really tourist or something. But, yeah, he seemed nice. But, you know, like I said, you got to don't put your guard down too much. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't be too trusting of people. Because I, <laughs> I will say I was at fault of that when I was younger a lot. So I had to, like, basically snap out of that shit and be like, uh-uh. We're not letting them, we're not letting my wall go from here to there. No, we're not doing that shit no more. I'm not going to be too trusting the people because I got backstabbed back in the day. You know, you guys, I got backstabbed back in the day. So, you know, I'm telling y'all from experience. Do not let your guards down with people, especially if it's people you're not too sure about. I mean, if you know the person for a couple of years or a few years, you know, okay, that's fine, you know. But even then, mm, still be on guard. Because sometimes your friends can stab you in the back, too. I've seen a lot of stories that way, too. But anyway, like I said, you guys, the moral of the story is be aware of your surroundings. Travel in groups when you go to places that you're not too sure about. And be safe. Okay? Be safe. I hope you enjoyed the story time. Uh, I'll put up another one sooner or later. Maybe today. Who knows? Maybe I'll do two story times today while I'm sitting here doing my hair. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video today and stay tuned. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hey, even put on your notification if you want to do that. That way you know when I post videos. But right now I'm I'm kind of slow at, at videos, so I'm going to try to like get back on it because I know I haven't posted in like two weeks. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to post some story time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you a little bit, you know, of being safe and being aware. But yeah. Bye, you guys.